to know who the people are of Salafiyyah and Sunnah around you. You should know in this land who those brothers are and who those indiv individuals are who connect you, connect you and connect themselves to Ahlul Ilm. Who are the ones who are connected to the ulama? Who are the ones who are don't just connect to the ulama for political reasons? We're connected to him because if we do a link with him, then tomorrow we'll get the people into our masjid. No, you are connected to those individuals because your manhaj is the manhaj of Fawzan. Your manhaj and your aqeedah and your belief is the belief of Al-Albani and Bin Baz and Ibn Thaymin. This is why you're connected. Your manhaj is the manhaj of Sheikh Rabia, which is the manhaj of the likes of Sheikh Islam Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, which is the manhaj of Ibn Taymiyyah, which is the manhaj of Ibn Qayyib, which is the manhaj of Ibn Qudama, which is the manhaj of Abdul Ghani, which is the manhaj of Al-Barbahari, Imam Ahmed, and those who came before them going all the way back to Ibn Abbas and Abu Huraira and Ibn Umar and Aisha and other than them from the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. And they took their knowledge from the Messenger of Allah upon whom the Book of Allah was revealed. This is how we work, Ya Ikhwan. Don't lend your ears to the people of innovation. It is not, I don't believe, with, end, with most of the brothers, I don't believe it's an issue of them lacking in the academic knowledge. In many cases, they know we don't sit with the people of Bid'ah. It's the action upon that that is deficient. That they get enticed. They hear a nice lecture and they say, I don't know who he is, but he's really nice. If you don't know who he is, don't listen to him. Simple as that up until you find out who he is and if he's connected to Ahlul Ilm. This is our manhaj. And this is the meaning. That inna hadhal ilm. That this indeed, that this knowledge, it is deen. So look towards whom you take your religion. So we have to look. That's what Muhammad ibn Sin, there's another beautiful statement of him. He said before the fitna occurred. And this is the fitna in the time of the Sahaba and in the time that, of that era when many of the people of innovation and many of the munafiqeen, they started spreading false hadith and false narrations and causing misguidance. And this is Muhammad bin Sirin again, an individual who was amongst the Sahaba radiallahu He wasn't a Sahabi, but he met the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. Muhammad bin Sirin said before the fitna began, before the trials and tribulations began, we never used to ask the people. But when the fitna began, then we used to ask them, name us your men. Name us your men. This is how we judge. Who are the people that you take from? Who are the people of ilm? Where is your knowledge coming from? From where is it derived? Is it derived from the people of Sufiya? From the people of Ikhwan? Ikhwan al-Muflisin? From the likes of Sayyid Qutb? Is your knowledge derived from Usama bin Laden and Al-Zawahiri and these types of individuals? From where is your knowledge derived? Is your knowledge derived from those individuals who are from the Mashaykh of the, of the people of Sufiya like the Qadiriya and the Jistiya and the Sahawardiya? And these, and, and these types of individuals, where is your knowledge derived? From there you can judge the correctness of that individual's belief and his aqeedah and his methodology. From there you can judge. When a person says to me, Fulan and Fulan, can we take knowledge? I said, where, do, where does he take?